tonight is a big night to head outside and look up to the sky. We're hoping the weather will cooperate and to tell us why it's going to be a good night for you to get up in the middle of the night <laughs> is Paul Lewis. We've got a very special event taking place. We really do. We, we many of us have seen lunar eclipses before. Mm -hmm. Some of us have seen solar eclipses before. This lunar eclipse is really one to pay attention, a little more attention to at least. Uh, this is a very, very, very long lunar eclipse as they go. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing starts at one o'clock in the morning and it enters what's called the penumbral shadow of the Earth. The Earth casts two shadows. The penumbral shadow diverges away from the Earth and then the umbral shadow, the dark shadow, converges as it goes away from the Earth. And the moon is going to pass through first the penumbral shadow, then the umbral shadow, then into the penumbra again, and then out. This whole thing begins at 1, and at 219, it enters the umbral shadow. And that's when we'll really that's when we start to dark notice? smudge on the moon, and it, and, and it just keeps passing over the moon mm -hmm. as time goes on. At 403 in the morning, mm -hmm. that's maximum eclipse. NASA says 99.1% of the surface of the moon will be covered with the umbral shadow of the Earth. Wow. That's a lot, yeah. but it's not total. But the thing to watch for... We're yeah, nitpicking a, here. <laughs> well, I know, but I say it's a deep partial because uh -huh. it's almost there but not quite. And so uh, the, the really cool thing about it is we're still going to see darkening of the moon to the point that it's actually going to show us some color. The Earth's atmosphere acts uh -huh. like a filter that the sunlight passes through. The long wavelengths get through, the short wavelengths get scattered. Mm -hmm. So when the long wavelengths hit the moon, it looks reddish, a dark, deep, ruddy, reddish color. Mm -hmm. It won't last for a long time, but you can start looking for that about 3.30 or so, and maximum eclipse it for a little after 4, and then it begins to leave the shadow, mm -hmm. and we see more of the moon illuminated by the sun, and then we're on the downside at that point. Wow. So. And I know the weather conditions were supposed to see the skies clearing out yes, tonight, that's what and I it hear. is going to be so cold. This is all up to time. It's all up to Todd. We've been talking about it, and it's supposed to be really, really cold tonight yeah. if you're going to be heading out there. So if you want to get up at 4 a.m. and head out and check it out, you're going to need the jackets to do that. And it's also full moon tonight, too. Yeah, and well, that's exactly right. The only time you have eclipses is when it's full. Beautiful. Well, it's something to look forward to tonight. Make sure you bundle up if you head out there. Thank you so much for giving us the My information. Pleasure. And let's talk more about that chilly forecast with Chief Meteorologist Todd Howe.